my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today on my first Makeup Monday I am bringing you this um, look based on the color spectrum of Capricorn. I know that sounds weird but it's Capricorn season right now so I think I put in like Capricorn colors or something and this spectrum popped up and I was like Ooh, I can attempt to make a makeup look based on the spectrum. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be bringing you a different one every month for each of the zodiacs. Everyone's going to be represented this year on my face. Uh, so this is the color spectrum for Capricorn. At least these are the colors that I pulled from the spectrum to use on my face. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this. And um, yeah, if you want to see how I did this, then stay tuned. All right, guys, I already have my foundation and my brows done just to knock off some time, but um, I also have my window open and my overhead on, so um, it's a little bit brighter in here. The last time I had my window closed, it was so much darker, and I just want to bring in as much light as possible so you guys can see what I'm doing. Today's look, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You guys already saw. <laughs> um, right now, we are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season, and I found these really cool, like, um, color spectrums of the different zodiacs. So I thought, and I'll put it on the screen right now, um, this is the Capricorn zodiac. Right now, we are right in smack in the middle of Capricorn season, December 22nd through January 20th, and I just wanted to do something based on a color for Capricorn. Um, and I'm going to do this every month. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a series that I wanted to start. And I thought that would be kind of interesting to do because I've never really thought about like the color spectrum of a Zodiac. So yeah. We're going to start with Capricorn because it is obviously Capricorn season. It is January. So we're going to go through the months. Um, exactly. I'm an Aries. I know a lot about my sign. I don't know hardly anything about any of the other ones. So I'm going to read from my um, laptop, which is right here. Zodiac symbol for Capricorn is like a fish goat hybrid, a sea goat. I did not know that. Interesting. Uh, the element for the Zodiac is Earth. The strengths are responsible, disciplined, self-control, and good managers. Weaknesses are they are know-it-alls, unforgiving, condescending, expecting the worst. They like family, tradition, music, understated status, quality craftsmanship, and they dislike almost everything at some point. I am going to attempt to bring in the colors of the Zodiac Capricorn. I pulled out some products that kind of represent some of the colors in there. So there's like a really big red patch in there. And so this color really resonated with me today. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Drop Dead Red. It's really, really dark. So I don't know if it's going to translate um, as the red color that I'm really looking for, but in the bottle, it looks like it will. So let's just see. I haven't worn that in a really long time. Um, to bring in more of the red, I'm also going to be using the red, probably just um, Venetian red and maybe red ochre, more Venetian red, um, from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. There's also a beautiful purple spectrum, so you know your girl's going to have to bust out with that purple, uh, that pretty poison palette again. So there are quite a few in here that I'm going to use, Intoxicated. Um, probably some of the venomous color, maybe some nightshade. So that would be like these three right here. I have this really cool, like brownie orange color in there too. So I'm going to do this one. This is charm from the Jeffree Star androgyny palette. And then I really wanted to pull that green in there as well. And the particular green, I'm having a hard time matching a color, so I'm just going to get into my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. I have two palettes of all the colors here, so I'm pretty sure I can find a green that matches the one in the picture close to it, um, at least as long as I have like a, a good green in there. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, <laughs> but... Um, Started. I've talked long enough. Let's put some of that like orangey color in my crease. I did a thorough deep cleaning on my brushes 
I'm so excited about that. I haven't done a thorough deep cleaning. Also threw away some brushes, got rid of some brushes. Um, but look how white my brush is. Ugh. So I'm going in with the MAC 217. I still love this brush. I did recently purge all of my MAC cosmetics. In fact, I've been um, going through all of my makeup lately and de-stashing. So anyway. We're gonna go in with Charm and I'm going to put that in my crease. And that's gonna kind of be my transition color. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really liking this color actually. I think it's a pretty color and it's a little more orangey than the, than the color that's in there but that's fine. I, I kind of like it. I think it'll look good with the orange and the green and the purple. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right so then I am just going to clean this brush off because I really like this brush and I want to use it again. What do I want to do first? I know I want to bring, have the red in the um, like under eye. Hmm. Let's just go right into that purple. I'm going to go into Intoxicated, which is right here, and I'm going to load that up on the brush, tap it off a little, and I'm just going to go right in underneath that color we just put. Basically, I want it in this outer third and work its way in. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush that's kind of similar to that, a little fluffier. I'm going to go back in with that original orange color, go back over that, and just bring the color up a little bit more. Probably going to have to tone this color down just because it's not the color in the, <laughs> in the spectrum. It's just not the color. I'm probably going to go into safe word which is right next to it and I'm just gonna kind of dull my orange a little bit just so it's more of that tan color we're looking for so we've dulled it down a little not a whole whole lot but we dulled it down a little um, I'm gonna go back in with my 217 more intoxicated work on that purple I know it might look like a hot mess right now, but trust the process, my friends. Going back in with some more of Safe Word from the Androgyny palette. It's all about blending, blending, blending to get what you want. So, okay, hmm. There's also grays and blacks and whites and light greens, but I really just wanna focus on the brighter colors in here and then that red. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling today. So, hmm, let me find a green because that is gonna go probably in the center of my lid. I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is from Wet n Wild. It is stained, unfortunately, although the tips are pink on all of these, but this is like really, really red. So I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I think I'm gonna check out this nightshade color and just see what the color payoff is. I'm just gonna go, hmm, where do I want this? I think I'm gonna go with the inner corner or inner third. Okay, so it gives me that um, lighter purple shade that's in the spectrum that I kinda was wanting to, to get, but again, I don't know what I'm doing yet, you guys. I just, I don't know. It's just gonna hopefully come together.
All right, we're gonna go back in with Intoxicated. I really want this outer corner to be that dark purple. So basically in the outer V, it makes a V shape right here. I want that. Um, I really want that to be really defined by that purple. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's cut this crease. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. Take a flat brush and I'm going to go into the color Nightshade. We're going to put that in the inner third. I'm going to take my 120 color palette and I'm going to take the other side of that brush and I'm going to go in with a, hmm, I think I'm going to use this green here and I don't, I honestly, they don't have numbers or names or anything like that so if you have this palette, it's the top palette top one that sits on top I guess I don't know this might have been the bottom one I don't know I've used it so long <laughs> I'm just gonna take that right in the center of my lid nightshade again and I'm gonna get intoxicated Maybe it's a little more of a halo eye than it is just a solid cut crease, but um, yeah, I'm kind of digging it. There is a color that I really want to use, and it's in the ABH Subculture Palette, and it's this color in the corner called Curse, and I just want to put that right over that green. I know this looks strange. <laughs> Once we get everything on, I promise it won't look as strange. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and then we'll come back and finish the bottom. Right back. All right, guys, I'm back. The top part is as done as it's gonna get right now, but we're not completely done. So I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with um, some Venetian Red, which is this color right here. I think I'm gonna use a pencil brush for that. And we're just gonna add this all underneath my lower lash line. All right, so that's what we got going so far. Hmm. I think I want to take that same fluffy brush that I had in the beginning that I used that charm color on and I'm going to dip back into charm just a little bit so we bring some of that transition color underneath the eye. All right, if you've lost any red along the way, go back in. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What color do I want to put in my inner corner to brighten it up? Because we do have that purple in the inner corner and I'd like to bring some light into that inner corner. I think I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Poison palette again with this color Nectar here. And it's got a pinky purple shift. I don't know if you can see that, but. Ahead. I think I used this, yeah, I used this in my Pretty Poison tutorial, but I had to end up putting um, a white base. So, I might just grab a little bit more of my concealer and just, there's still concealer on my brush, so maybe I'll just go in right there, and right there.
So I'm going to blend that out. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes, my liner, and my mascara off camera. I think I'm also going to do some liner. I might do, hmm, do I want to do like a purple liner? Do I want to do, no, I did purple last, last look. I want to go ahead and do a black liner. I'm going to do a black liner in my waterline. Um, you know, I got to give myself a wing because I love a wing. And uh, yeah, I'll be back and then we can finish this face. All right, guys, the eyes are complete. This is the final results. I've got a little bit of eye water going on on this eye. It's driving me bonkers, but we're going to go forward. We're going to finish this face. We're going to put the lipstick on. We're going to put some highlighter on. We're going to make ourselves look good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and you know my tried and true hit pan on Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I just like this. It's perfect for my skin tone. Well, who is she though? Who is that? Who, who is she though? Whose nose is that? Not mine. Okay. There's a reason I don't contour my nose that often. It's because it looks funny to me. But we're just going to ignore that. So, going to go on with the light shade. Or blush today. Um, what am I gonna use, y'all? I think I'm gonna go in with this Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Blush in Mickey and Mallory. I'm gonna mix those two together. And maybe I'll get that like pinky tone that's there in the palette. For highlight, you know I've got to go in with my Aurora palette again. I am just in love with this Luna shade right here. And I think I'm gonna use that one today. There is purple in that spectrum, so maybe I'll use Spectra. I don't know. You know what? Let's just go with Spectra. Let's just let's just go with Spectra. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do let's do Spectra today. All right. Well, again, pull back the hair. Can y'all even see Spectra? Like, I can barely see Spectra. <laughs> I mean, there's a purple cast. Nope, we're gonna go in with Luna. Sorry, Spectra. You are not it. I want to be super glowy today, so I'm really highlighting the mess out of my face. Oh. No, I'm not going to leave that much highlight on the end of my nose. We are not a light bulb.
All right, we're gonna highlight this brow bone. A little bit of Luna. I say a little bit, that's a lot of bit. Almost tempted to put this in my inner corner. I think I just might. I think I might go back over everywhere I put the Luna shade and put Spectra over it just to bring in some purple. a bit of a flop on my skin. It might work great on somebody else's, but it's a bit of a flop on mine. All right, I am done with this face, you guys. Done. So I'm going to go ahead and set that with some e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It's going to be fun. Woo! All right, guys, we're going to go in with the Two Face Melted Matte in Drop Dead Red. Hopefully, this will give me the red I'm looking for. I don't know, we'll see. forgot how pretty this color was. Alright guys, this is the completed look for Capricorn and I hope that you guys enjoyed spending time with me today and I hope that you like this tutorial. If so, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And also while you're down there, click subscribe. I will see you guys on Wednesday with another Wendy Darling Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the first installment in Makeup Monday and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.